Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Ticker Feed. As always, guys, I really do appreciate you tuning into the video. Welcome to the family. Now, this video is going to be predicated to the comments that I was able to get through a previous video with Torchlight. Guys, so I really do appreciate um, there needed to be a little bit more due diligence on my part. And so I was able to dive a little bit deeper into meta material itself and kind of focus more on that. So that's what we're going to be talking about is meta material. The cold hard facts that you need to know with the merger between meta material and torchlight energy and then what we're going to be breaking down is going to be meta materials technology itself super excited i really do appreciate it guys and so as always i throw out a little meme here and it says me before the dip if the market is going to dip i'm buying heavily so that's always my plan that's what i've got i've got liquid on the side and i and this is how i think i look me when the dip actually happens what if the dip what if it dips even more what if i lose all my money what if the market crashes that's what <laughs> that is what's going on in my head most of the time it's kind of funny so i thought this was a perfect with with what's going on in the uh current market and so this what i look like on the left but what's going on in my mind but anyways guys i really do appreciate you tuning into this video we'll go ahead and get started so this is what the facts are right so meta material wanted to be listed in the nasdaq and so in order for them to be able to do that they have to merge with torchlight okay so after the merger the symbol for both stocks become one m e t a now torchlight or trch will be selling off its oil and gas assets sometimes in the third quarter or sometime after the merger the merger is anticipated to be on or after the 12th so that's going to be march the 12th which is the next conference date anyone holding those shares of trch before the merger will re receive special dividends after they sell their oil and gas assets so that's going to be one of the main things why a lot of people are trying to buy torchlight is because of those dividends right <clears throat> so trch will no longer be an oil and gas company they're going full tech after this merger and giving up everything else and so that's where we're going to leave it off and then we're going to dive into the actual technology of meta and uh, we'll check out the chart and then we'll be able to wrap up this video so with meta material i'm going to read this little quick snippet and uh, that way if you don't kind of understand what it is or what it is or if you're just tuning in to see about this company in general let me just kind of read this to you okay so it says we believe that when it comes to light it's time to step out of the dark at meta materials or meta right we design and manufacture complex films and other materials called meta materials materials that can ma manipulate and utilize light and other forms of energy in new and often amazing ways okay so it says our products are designed with software and engineered at nanoscopic levels to provide a broad spectrum of properties and capabilities that go beyond those found in natural materials, which are generally not possible to create using conventional materials, discovery or specialty chemical manufacturer technologies. So it says we apply this technology to revolutionize everything from solar so solutions to aircraft safety to wearable technology. All of our products are designed and manufactured with environmental sustainability as a high priority. Okay, so that was just a quick snippet. So now we're going to actually look at the technology that they do because this is what somebody that is owning this stock or uh, thinking about buying this stock is going to want to know about. Okay, so to create holograms, what you have to do is get multiple beams of light that are overlapping with a specialty photosensitive, photosensitive medium that reacts to the interfering light beams. Okay, so I'm not very scientific on this, so I'm just be, I'm able to read this through just the uh, the website itself. But the medium acts as a photographic film and records the areas of high and low intensity as variations of its retractive index okay so this is what i wanted to read here okay so most of us know holograms is th three dimensional uh pictures right so those 3d images of of uh, you know movies and whatnot but also commercial use of holograms include 3d security tags right so that's going to be on your uh, credit card cash card stuff like that right for that counterfeiting but not all holograms portray objects holograms can have unique 
often extraordinary functional properties, okay? So Meta designs and fabricates holograms as specialty optical elements that can not only replace traditional lenses and mirrors, but can provide optical functions that are very difficult to achieve with conventional optics. These holographic optical elements, or HOEs, so if you read that, that's what HOEs is, allow system designers to develop devices that are smaller, lighter, and cheaper, and better than those achieved with conventional optics. So if you actually scroll down at the very bottom, you'll actually see some of the um, uh, techniques or uh, type of systems that they have. So you got uniform conformal notch filters. So they have different types of filters. I'm not going to go into that, but I just want you to point I just wanted to point that out to you the other thing is this so this is kind of an idea so if you actually look at this uh, picture right here on the right with the glasses you can actually see that 3d or HOE embedded into the spherical lens right so you can actually see it on your glasses so that's what I wanted to point out let's go ahead and look at the next technology they have a patent manufacturing technology called rolling mass lithography okay so that's gonna be another sector that they have and so with RML, okay, so that's going to be rolling mask lithography, okay, it, it employs a massively parallel pattern scheme that is easily scalable to large areas of grit, uh, rigid sub substrate materials, plates and panels, and rolls off of flexible films. No. Okay, so Okay, so with Meta Materials, they have a patent manufacturing technology called rolling mass lithography, okay? So with that being said, it's a massive it has a massively parallel patterning scheme that is easily scalable to large areas of rigid substrate materials, plates and panels, and rolls of flexible films, okay? So it is used to produce a certain type of smart material made from a variety of substrates including glass metal semiconductors and polymer films okay so here's the thing as a result they say that they're able to block absorb or enhance light so RML's versatility is advancing the smart material research and helping to produce new meta material solutions and this is what I wanted to point out is that the span for medical imaging systems to satellite orbiting the earth okay so let's go ahead and continue to the wireless sensing out of all the technologies for meta material this one's probably my favorite so this is going to be the wireless sensing okay now meta materials can manipulate electromagnetic electromagnetic waves in ways that have not been possible until now okay so here's what they can do so the first thing you're going to be looking at is called non-invasive glucose sensing so they have wearable meta material films that allow low power radio waves to safely pass through the skin collecting data from the blood next is going to be the radio wave imaging so scientists are developing a portable low-cost system that allows use uses in an in-house design meta material film to conduct fast on-site scans for two main applications stroke detection in the brain and tumors in the breast okay then the last is going to be your MRI amplifier a metamaterial structure when placed in an MRI machine could substantially increase the signal to noise ratio, resulting in drastically higher imaging acquisition speed, sensitivity, and image, right? So it's all gonna it's all gonna be dedicated, not all of it, but a lot of this, at least on the wireless part, is gonna be dedicated towards the medical te technology, right? So which is ever growing. The human body doesn't change, it is not a machine, right? So we always need something in order to uh, find these issues so this is perfect technology amazing so the current industry challenges most non-invasive biomedical applications face a major problem in the interaction between electromagnetic waves and human tissue because the skin prevents incoming signals from entering the body so this barrier makes it difficult to extract useful medical diagnostic information so that's what I like about meta material because the type of technology that they have it allows the ability for that signal to noise ratio transmitted into the body without heating and damaging the skin right so it allows them to be able to pick up on that information right so I like that a lot now this is here's a quick little picture of it I think it's pretty interesting it says a key to improving healthcare diagnosis 
is uh, early diagnosis. So by developing technology that can support this, we will, will be able to deliver immense benefits to both patients and wider healthcare systems. So again, here's a little pictogram of the picture of just demonstrating of what I just mentioned. This kind of helps on a visual. And so again, great company, great technology. I completely understand and see where everybody's coming from. So again, I really do appreciate it. And let's go ahead and look at the chart and we'll be able to wrap up this video. So just remember, Metamaterials wants to be listed in the NASDAQ. And so they have to do that with Torchlight. And the other thing is, once they become, once they merge, it'll be called META, okay? Now, TRSH will be selling off its gas and oil assets, right, later in the future. So, uh, and then you'll be able to get those dividends. And so, I just want to mention that information. TRCH will no longer be an oil and gas company, right? They're going full technology. So, keep that in mind because thanks to the ticker fee family, I was able to get that information through the comments. And so, I, again, I really do appreciate it. Now, looking at the chart, as you can see, it's at currently at $2.70 pre-market. The 52-week high was $3.20, right? So you're floating between $2.50 and roughly $3. Now, as you can see, it, it's a little bit of volatile. volatile uh, that's going to come with penny stocks in general, at least currently. But once this merger takes place and the long-term effects start to kick in, we're gonna we're gonna see this. In my personal opinion, we're gonna see this uh, the price of the stock continue to rise. So again, guys, I really do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video. I'm gonna continue to make more and more videos on the content that I can find and whatever the most updated information is. So just wanted to give you that. Uh, but again, guys, this was a team effort, so I really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll just take it from here.